Before we proceed further, request you to please subscribe to our channel as shown above. Hello friends, welcome to Kamat Astrology. In today's video, we will cover a very different kind of topic. Many a times we get these queries. What past life mistakes have we done that we are suffering right now? And one of the easiest way to understand your past life mistake is to look at the position of Saturn in your horoscope. There are other techniques such as analyzing the Shashti Amsha etc. But this is the simplest technique for a lay person or a beginner in astrology. Now in this chart we will see the impact of Saturn in different houses within the horoscope. For the purpose of simplicity, let us assume that the Lagna or the rising ascendant is the sign of Aries or Mesh. That is Aries or Mesh is the first house in the horoscope. You could be born with any other ascendant, say Gemini ascendant, but in this example, we will consider the Aries ascendant as the first house. Now, what does Saturn represent? Saturn is the outermost planet. He represents the neglected people in the society. He represents the poor people, the handicapped people, the beggars, the leprosy patients. Saturn also represents the servants in our life, the laborers, the workers. These are all represented by Saturn. Now, if in your birth chart, Saturn is in the first house. It means that in this life you will be burdened with a lot of responsibility. This is done so as to teach you humility, to teach you to be humble because in your past life you used to look down on certain people such as servants, laborers and beggars. And therefore, in this life, you will get that inferiority complex because of the placement of Saturn in your first house. So, whenever you find Saturn in the first house in your horoscope, be it any ascendant, first thing you should understand is, in your past life, you have not treated people well, such as servants, beggars and workers. And that is why you are finding Saturn in your first house in this life. So that you learn humility, you learn to be humble and you learn to serve people. When you find Saturn in the second house in the horoscope, if Saturn is well placed and strong, you will definitely get money after a lot of hard work. However, within your family, Saturn could give lot of problems. When Saturn is in the second house, the second house also represents our speech. And when Saturn is in the second house, such a person takes long pauses when he interacts with anyone. So if you are talking to such a person on the phone, you might feel that he has kept the phone. But in reality, he is thinking before responding to you. Remember that the second house represents our assets. It represents our money. And what happens is, when you have a Saturn in the second house, you start earning wealth after a lot of hard work. And with this, what happens is, you tend to show off that wealth. Now remember that, Saturn wants humility. So when you have Saturn in the second house, the advice is never to show off your wealth to anyone. The second house, house also represents the face. Saturn represents construction. So if you have Saturn in the second house and you have built an apartment or a bungalow, make sure that the front facing portion of that apartment or bungalow is not having good paint, is not completed. So people looking at that bungalow should feel that this person is actually poor. He does not have anything. Inside that house, you can do any kind of construction. No harm will come. But remember that the front-facing portion of the house should be kept incomplete 
unpainted so that it does not appear good to other people and their evil sight does not fall on that house when saturn is in the third house of the horoscope the third house represents communication it represents our siblings it also represents the effort and courage that we put in our life now when saturn is in the third house it is a good placement in the sense that the third house effects improve with time but saturn in the third house makes you put in a lot of hard work to achieve even the simplest of things however once you get adjusted to that hard work you start putting in that hard work sincerely without being bothered by the obstacles slowly you will attain your goals you will attain prosperity when saturn is in the third house it can give conflicts with siblings the reason being in your past life you have not treated your siblings well your neighbors well and when you find a saturn in the third house remember that it is trying to teach you to treat your siblings well to treat your neighbors well in this life and pay off that past life debt it also teaches you that through hard work through persistent effort anything can be achieved when saturn is in the fourth house the fourth house is the vastu sthana it is also the house which represents your mother peace comforts and happiness and when saturn is not well placed in the fourth house generally the relationship with your mother will not be so good you might also lack comforts in your life you might not be able to invest in real estate in your name because if you try to build a house in your name suddenly problems will start coming up when saturn is not well placed in the fourth house the fourth house also represents vehicles it represents our house now when you have a saturn in the fourth house the simplest remedy is when you build a house get the inauguration done by the workers who have built the house or when they are building your house eat food with them similarly if you buy a vehicle invite your driver and tell him that you have brought this vehicle for him give him some gifts give him some money because drivers workers laborers are the people who represent saturn and by doing these small actions you will please that saturn and remove the difficulties that come in your home in your vehicles and in your day to day life a fourth house saturn can give you a very strict mother but if you obey her if you follow the path shown by her definitely in the later stages of your life you will rise and shine so saturn here is telling you to show respect to the person from whom you are gaining some benefits the person at the lowest level say your driver say your plumber say your electrician say the laborers who build your house interact with them give them gifts make them happy is what saturn in the fourth house tells us when saturn is in the fifth house the fifth house is the house of children it is the house of love it is the house of mantra siddhi it is also the house of past life good deeds it is the house of speculation when saturn is in the fifth house never involve in speculative activities do not over indulge in speculative activities especially the stock market cryptocurrencies because saturn here is trying to teach you not to be a gambler but to earn money through sustained hard work if saturn is in the fifth house sometimes it indicates that in your past life you have misused certain mantras and a fifth house saturn can sometimes give you children who will not stay with you who will move away from you and may not look after you this is because in your past life when you had children you didn't care well for them 
एंड सो इन दिस लाइफ सैटर्न इज ट्राइंग टू मेक यू रिपे दैट डेप्थ बाय नॉट गिविंग दैट लेवल ऑफ केयर दैट लेवल ऑफ लव बैक टू यू नाउ वॉट इज सैटर्न इन द सिक्स हाउस ट्राइंग टू टेल यू द सिक्स हाउस इज द हाउस ऑफ डेली रूटीन इट इज द हाउस ऑफ सर्विस इट इज द हाउस ऑफ प्रारब्ध इट इज द हाउस ऑफ दैट कर्मा विच के नॉट बी चेंज इजीली एंड विच इज योर डेस्टिनी इन रियालिटी विच यू हैव टू फेस इन दिस लाइफ इट इज ऑल्सो द हाउस ऑफ एनिमीज इट इज द हाउस ऑफ डेप्स लिटिगेशन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट सो वेन सैटर्न इज इन द सिक्स हाउस द बेस्ट रेमेडी इज टू मसाज द फीट ऑफ योर स्पाउस वाई बिकॉज द सेवेंथ हाउस रिप्रेजेंट्स द स्पाउस the sixth house that is the 12th from the 7th house represents the feet of your spouse now what this really means is see saturn represents time saturn represents kal and as time passes by you will reach a point in your life where you will have to physically serve your spouse because sixth house is the house of diseases it is the house of death so when saturn is in the 6th house it indicates a past life debt to your spouse which you have to resolve in this life by serving him or her when he grows old so the best way to reduce the effects of saturn in the 6th house is to massage the feet of your spouse another way is to serve the animal represented by the 6th house or to serve the poor people such as beggars and leprosy patients that will greatly reduce the effects of saturn in the 6th house saturn in the 6th house is also good in the sense that it gives you the power to overpower enemies to overpower diseases but that does not mean it will not give you diseases debts litigations or enemies now what happens when saturn is in the 7th house Seventh house is the house of partnerships, marriage, and harmony. Now, when a planet like Saturn goes in the seventh house, it generally means that when your marriage is done, okay, there might be a delay in the marriage, or sometimes the marriage happens early, but the initial part of married life is a struggle. and saturn slowly improves the married life over a period of time so when saturn is in the 7th house it gives a long lasting relationship but a relationship that will encounter a lot of ups and downs saturn in the 7th house teaches us to value relationships to value partnerships because in the past life we have enjoyed our relationships our partnerships and not valued them properly so in this life saturn gives certain problems in married life to teach us humility to teach us the real value of partnership and marriage now what is saturn saturn is a judge and a judge always requires witness to prove a case similarly when you marry you take seven rounds of the sacrificial fire and the fire is the witness to your marriage so whenever you are facing problems in your married life you should worship agni dev or you can also worship lord vishnu because lord vishnu is also considered as a witness in the marriage between two people so worshiping lord vishnu worshiping agni dev will reduce the malefic effects of saturn in the 7th house now let us look at saturn in the 8th house now when saturn is in the 8th house it generally gives the person a very long life death will also not come easily to that person his life will be prolonged but there could be a lot of health issues a lot of sudden events in this person's life now what does the 8th house represent the 8th house represents sudden events it represents transformation it represents secrets it represents buried things so when saturn is in the 8th house it encourages you to indulge in research to indulge in investigation and get success in such activities 
द एट्थ हाउस ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंट्स एक्सीडेंट्स एंड सैटर्न रिप्रेजेंट्स सर्विस सो वेन एवर यू हैव अ सैटर्न इन द एट्थ हाउस ट्राय टू सर्व पीपल हु हैव मेट विथ एक्सीडेंट्स इन हॉस्पिटल्स एंड हू कैनॉट एफोर्ड ट्रीटमेंट हेल्प सच पीपल वेन यू हैव सैटर्न इन द एट्थ हाउस and that will remove the malefic effects of saturn to a very large extent it also indicates that in your past life when you had to serve such a person you did not do so and therefore now you are getting saturn in the 8th house where saturn is trying to teach you to go and serve such people and pay that past life debt the 8th house is also the 12th from the 9th house 9th house represents gurus and teachers so falling at the feet of your guru taking his blessings that will also remove the malefic effects of an 8th house saturn now what happens when saturn is in the 9th house the 9th house is the house of gurus teachers pilgrimages long distance journeys higher learning when saturn is in the 9th house you will definitely get a lot of higher learning you will get a lot of practical knowledge in life because saturn puts you through such teachers through such situations that you will become very practical in life but saturn here is telling you to serve your gurus to serve your teachers because in your past life you have a debt towards your gurus so when you have saturn in the 9th house try to serve your teachers in any way you can visit pilgrimages and serve the poor people in the temples there that will also reduce the malefic effects of a 9th house saturn now what happens when saturn is in the 10th house the 10th house is a good house for saturn because saturn represents our karma the 10th house represents the government it represents the economy it represents our work area our work place now what happens with a 10th house saturn when saturn is placed in the 10th house 10th house is the house of karma so when saturn is in the 10th house it starts giving you the fruits of your past life karma as well as certain karmas done in this life now saturn in the 10th house often gives us strict bosses it gives us problems in our workplace but 10th house saturn asks us to work very hard to attain our goals and if you do that hard work if you are able to go through those strict bosses then saturn rewards you in a big way so when you have a 10th house saturn it means that in the past life you took a lot of shortcuts to attain your goal so in this life saturn is telling you to work hard to attain those goals and in reality a 10th house saturn is good it gives you a lot of success after some amount of struggle saturn is all about serving others and so when you start serving the poor when you start serving the neglected people the 10th house saturn starts giving you good fruits it can also give you promotion in your career when saturn is in the 11th house 11th house is the house of gains it is the house of aspirations hopes wishes and desires and when saturn is in the 11th house it brings a limitation on your hopes wishes aspirations and desires so you may not be able to easily attain your goals 11th house is also the house which represents your social network which represents your friends now when a detached planet like saturn is in the 11th house you will not have many sincere friends you will have a limited circle of friends now what is the way to resolve a saturn in the 11th house remember that 11th house is second from the 10th house which means that 11th house represents the income coming from your 10th house so whatever salary you get whatever profits you earn 
use those profits to serve the poor to serve the neglected people and then you will find that your career starts improving by leaps and bounds and this saturn starts giving you gains in the 11th house now what happens when saturn is in the 12th house the 12th house represents isolations expenses it represents places such as jails hospitals it also represents bed pleasure when saturn is in the 12th house it is telling you to go into isolation to go into meditation to focus more on yourself that is to focus more internally now one way to resolve the 12th house saturn is to serve the people in isolated places such as hospitals people who are jailed unfairly and who cannot fight their cases when you start doing these things saturn in the 12th house starts giving you good results the 12th house also represents the feet of the kalpurush which means that if you worship lord vishnu sincerely focusing on his feet and asking for his blessings the 12th house saturn will start giving you good fruits so friends just by looking at the position of saturn you can understand what wrong things you must have done in your past life and what you must do now to improve the situation so doing these simple remedies can help you in a big way now my contact details are given in this slide if you like this video please mark it as liked on youtube if you have not subscribed to our channel kamat astrology you can do so by clicking the subscribe button you can visit our website astroseva.tripod.com to know more about us for any consultations email us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com so friends thanks a lot bye take care and stay safe